Uh, welcome to Suarez Shoes House. This is uh, the channel that we do normally in Spanish. This is Kelvin Suarez. I'm Ariel Suarez for you guys. Uh, normally we do this in, in Spanish because obviously we, our first language is Spanish, but some people have, uh, some of our people that follow us want to do it in, uh, in English. So obviously we're not that, we don't speak perfect English, but we're gonna try to do our best. We're doing like a crossover like Ricky Martin. Exactly. Yes. So uh, our message is not just about the sneakers. It's about the culture. It's about our experiences because we were raised in the 80s and the 90s. And that's when the sneaker boom came. So that's our message. It's not about being high beast. It's more about the our, exactly the history of the shoes, what it meant, who wore them, and also, and obviously the sneakers per se, but it's not about being high speed, oh, this shoe is whack or whatever. It's just about the history and our personal experiences. So we're gonna start with this special um, episode because uh, this, there was a shoe that it was really hard to get and it had a lot of controversy and it's the Kobe Mambasita. Mm. So this shoe came on on Sunday it was Gigi's Gigi by his birthday. Beautiful. This is a beautiful shoe. And there was a lot of controversy because uh, the reason that uh, Vanessa Bryant left Nike, it was because there was not a lot of access to the shoes for Kobe. So when she took did this one, it was like access, like exclusive access in Los Angeles and in and in the Nike uh, Nike app. So here's the shoe. If you look at it, it has number two because that was the number of Gigi Bryant. She was an excellent mm -hmm. basketball player. And like I mentioned in the Spanish version, this is like a sweet and sour, like, because obviously they're, they're those people, uh, they lost their lives. Not just Kobe and Gigi, also the people that were there and bored with them. So that is really a sad story. But all of the money that came from this shoe is going to benefit the Mambasita Foundation, which is something that is good. Nice. So here we have the shoe. Uh, the black and white, it has Gigi's numbers on the side, and on the back, it has Kobe with the Mambasita, and it has Gigi. This is the right side of the shoe. Gigi. This is one of the best releases of the year. Obviously, it was unexpected because, like we mentioned, um, Gigi, I mean, Vanessa Bryan broke with Nike, and they unexpectedly came back, and this shoe was the first release. And a lot of people wanted the shoe, and they didn't get it. For me, I woke up at 10.04, I wasn't, I didn't want to buy the shoe because I didn't want to pay any resale. So on Sunday, I woke up at 10.04 and I got the sneakers, um, the access. It was a miracle. Um, and I got it, I bought it normally, which was kind of like weird because a lot of people were expecting the shoe. But I thought, some people say that that they did, they got the shoe and they didn't, they didn't bought uh, Kobe shoes in the past. That was one of the things that people like were questioning like, oh, how can you get a shoe? How does Nike know that you are a Kobe fan or whatever? So in my case, I bought a lot of Kobe's. Uh, my brother used to work at Nike. So yep. the switch up come, I got a lot of Kobe's. I got a, uh, like four or five Kobe shirts. I had like more than 10 Kobe shoes. I don't know if that was taken into consideration, but I really did bought a lot of Kobe's. I started buying Kobe since Adidas. Exactly, and I'm a huge Kobe fan. Kobe's my favorite player of all times. I have more than 40 uh, pair of shoes of Kobe. Wow. And I just wanted to show you guys because I knew that it was gonna be the one of the best releases in all year. For real. And compare it with another of the, my favorite shoe of my collection of Kobe's. Actually, uh because of the occasion. This is the first Kobe that was uh, for Axis in 2010. The Soul, right? The Soul, and this is the first one that he used when he wore it on Christmas Day, the Grinch is one. This is my favorite Kobe shoe of all time. And comparing, like, if you look at the Kobe 6, it has like the Mamba, like, like you know, Kobe's a black Mamba. So they have like the snake skin yeah. in, in here. So this is why this shoe is so famous. But this is my favorite of all time. The Mambasita is a great shoe. And, and the meaning of the shoe. Exactly. Wow. So I'm not, we're not going to do a long um, episode, but if you like videos in Spanish, 
And if we see that people like and subscribe and comment, we're going to do more um, content, in, content English. in English, which is not our first language, but we try to do it. So we are doing our best. If you like the episode, you can like, share, subscribe, and we can make more content because we just we talk about the history, the what happened in the past, our experiences because we were Puerto Rico. So in our town, there wasn't no foot locker or foot that. It was really hard to get a shoe. And as kids, we didn't like wear any like of those shoes. My parents didn't bought them. So we were like like window shoppers all the times. And now as I grew and I got all of them, I used to work at Foot Locker. So it's a great experience because we used to play basketball also. So the love of the shoes came at a young age and the perspective in Puerto Rico is different than here because to get access in those times, it was really hard. So if you like this content, make sure you subscribe, comment, and we can keep on, uh, keep on doing it in English. And it was a pleasure until the next time. Yes, sir.